Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to paint this cute ice cream cone using the Sublime watercolor pack and the cold pressed canvas that is included. Learning how to paint food clip art can be useful as there is a big demand for them. So I've already drawn a sketch for you guys and you can download it from the link below. And to bring it into Procreate, you simply go here and insert a photo. After you bring in the sketch, you will see it in the layers panel and we'll have to make a new layer to start coloring it. I'm just going to bring down the opacity level for my sketch. You can do it too, if you'd like. So making sure that we're on our coloring layer now, let's choose a color. So I've already made a palette for you guys, so you can download that together with the sketch for free. For now, I'm going to choose this pink right here, and we're going to be using the hard edge round brush. This brush is very special in the way that it creates hard edges, just like real watercolor when it dries. But I gotta say that it can be difficult to see the hard edges when you're using such a light color like this. After you have completely colored in the ice cream portion, we're going to blend it using the basic blender. So you just want to blend out the overlaps like this so that the ice cream is completely smooth. It may be best not to use big strokes when blending because when you go over like this and end up erasing that part, you will get rid of that hard edge effect. So I'm going to do my best to blend within the sketch line. Then let's select this baby pink right here. And then we're going to use the same brush and go over some areas that will have shadows. You don't have to be really accurate about it, but um, we're just going to guess that the light is coming from the left side. I'm going to draw in some squiggles here just so that we can have some color differences after we blend it all out. Blending becomes really easy with this basic blender. Now that we've added some contrast and color differences, we're going to make a new layer and make that a clipping mask. And then we're going to select this pink right here. And let's look for a stamp brush. I'm choosing bloom number one. I'm going to tap on the right side of the ice cream where there's less light and this effect will make the ice cream look more 3D. Now we're just going to blend that out so that it looks a bit more natural. Now, the ice cream looks less flat, but I'm still unhappy with it, so I'm going to add some water drops and I'm going to select this brush right here. This step is totally optional if you like watercolor paintings that are pretty tidy, but if you'd like to see more texture, you can draw in these droplets to make it look like the water dried like that. Okay, I didn't really like that, so I'm just going to draw it elsewhere. Now let's start coloring the cherry. We're going to make a new layer and then we're going to select a red. It's not really a red but close to red. And then we're using the hard edge brown brush again. Again, we're going to pretend that the light is coming from the left, so let's just leave a blank space here. Mm -hmm. 
Using the same brush, I'm going to paint over the right side to create a shadow. And then you want to blend that, of course. Next, we're going to make a new layer and make that a clipping mask. We're going to use the bloom number one step again to create more shadows. Let's select this dark red right here. After you tap, you blend. So it's really like a rinse and repeat kind of a practice. Next, we're going to make a new layer and now we're just going to make the cherry look a bit more 3D by grabbing the toothy pencil and getting like a orangish yellowish color and making a few strokes on the right side like this and we're just going to blend that out slightly hopefully you guys can see the difference here on a new layer we're going to start coloring in the stem using the hard edge round brush I'm using a dark green here Again, creating some shadows and highlights using the toothy pencil. Now we can finally move on to the cone. Let's make a new layer. And grab this beige here. We're going to start coloring again using the hard edge round brush. For this waffle cone, I'm going to let go of the stroke many times so that I create more overlaps. This is so that we make the cone have more color variations and it makes it look more like realistic and unevenly baked. As usual, we blend that out. After it's all blended out, you can use the same brush to paint some shadows on the right side. Drawing some shadows here as well. It's just to show that the ice cream is melting there. Again, we blend out the shadows. Next, we're going to make a new layer. And then I'm going to select this brown right here. Make sure that you have the hard edge round brush. Now that's way too big, so let's bring down the size. What we want to do is to draw on top of the sketch line like this. So that looks pretty straight. And if you have went over the cone, then you can erase it like this. Let's make a new layer and make that a clipping mask. And then we're going to grab a stamp brush, bloom number one. Let's get a dark brown right here and just tap anywhere you'd like. This is just to make the waffle cone look a little bit burnt in some areas. And now I'm just going to make a new layer on top of the cone as you can see here and make that a clipping mask. Grabbing that caramel like brown and we're going to use the same stamp and you can tap it in random places to make it look like it's a bit more burnt in some areas because waffle cones, they have uneven textures and uneven colors and you can blend it out to make it look a bit more natural. 
So that's it guys. The only thing that I would have done differently is to make the cherry a bit more bold on the right side. But you guys can go with the flow and see what you like. If you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe as I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you in the next one.